And a <laughs> pigeon out in front of the pitcher's mound. Worley went over to chew it away. It draws a smile from Miguel Cabrera. <laughs> All found out of play. I mean, that is unbelievable. No concern whatsoever what's going on between the pitcher's mound and home plate. And his buddy's coming up from behind. <laughs> yeah. He has a buddy right behind Vance. I mean, we should call Vance Whirly Whirly Bird. Cabrera, he's kind of taking his time going in, wondering whether or not he should. <laughs> now that's like, got to be crazy. It's, it's insane. And it has to cause some disturbance <laughs> here. I mean, everybody's just, acting like this is normal. They're let, let them <laughs> go. Just let, let them go. Uh, Try to, they, now Cabrera says, no, this can't continue. Come on. They, 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 they could care, care less. So now the whirly bird will try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. And then they're going to go right back at it. <laughs> now they're closer to home plate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Whirly just rolled the baseball. <laughs> uh, Whirly just rolled the baseball. <laughs> oh uh, man, you got to be kidding. Whirly uh, rolls the baseball, <laughs> and they could care less. Uh, duck pins. Oh my yes. <laughs> I mean, pigeon pins. Oh my pins. goodness. <laughs> Struggling, but not Matt Carpenter. Last three games, five for 11, batting 454. And check out this. <laughs> we have a squirrel crawling up the net behind home plate. I'm not sure. That, yeah, really. The uh, the squirrel and the Phillies and the Cardinals. That's not something we want to talk about. It's just bad luck. Yeah. Here's Omont, the one-two pitch. That's inside. It's two and two. Does he take it all the way out? I don't know. This may not end well. And he's going to try. He's, oh! Oh, oh I, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. Now he's on the Phillies dugout. Now he's in the Phillies dugout. The players have scattered. I've never quite seen anything like this. <laughs> Aren't you glad you got tonight's game, Murph? Oh, my. <laughs> well, it's definitely not a flying squirrel. No. But it was a falling one. Leslie, are you okay down there? Leslie, get to higher ground. If I you have can hear jumped us. onto higher ground. I am up on the uh, camera platform now. The squirrel ran through the dugout. All of the players went scrambling, and he is now on the wall back here behind the cameras somewhere, probably fearing for his life. Well, oh it, my. Incoming! Oh my. Hey, we've got a visitor on the field. I saw that. I think he's looking for some peanuts. 
Uh oh. It's going to pay Davis a visit, it appears. It's black. It almost looked like a. I haven't seen a black squirrel in a while. He's going to make it out on the field. I mean, have you, when's the last time you saw a black squirrel? Today. Yeah. I was like, what is that? I guess I saw it. It came from behind home plate. And man, I didn't know if it was a baby kitten or what it was. Look at the tail on that guy. And here he comes again. The squirrel has uh, reappeared. I know what he's looking for. Food. He's going to make his way to the outfield. And so this is going to make Davis again walk off the mound and wait. I think he's looking for a tree. I don't think he's looking for food. For security, and Squirrel is going to be ejected from the game. Where's the taser? <laughs> they make announcements before every game. If you run on the field in the middle of the game, you are going to be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. It'll be a minute. We have a B situation out in right field. If you're watching Brewers live pregame, the uh, B started to accumulate on the right field fence. So uh, this is probably going to set us up for a little bit of a delay. And uh, they're trying to take care of those bees right now. We see this every now and then. We've seen it a few times in San Diego. Uh, I'm not sure I've seen it here in Milwaukee. No. The bird, yeah, I mean, now this, the Seagulls, Reddick's got no chance up there. I mean, they are literally flying right in front of his face. And in all honesty, Ray, I mean, it could be a problem because they're oh, yeah. landing now on the outfield grass. <laughs> Reddick's, just... Reddick's got no chance out there. For some reason, they're circling him. Zoberst on the move, and it'll drop. One hop in front of the bullpen up into the seats, but you know the Seagulls come after the game yeah. usually, and occasionally we see them late in the game. But they're usually <laughs> they're usually not this low, and they're usually not here this early. <laughs> and a few players protecting their heads. That's right. Yeah, this is strange because and they're in the stands usually getting the, the leftover sure. goodies, but I don't know what's on the field. Well, they are all over the outfield, and they're they're landing. And there's a walk. But the glove on top of the head yeah. is not a terrible idea. Yeah. Now, I want to know if that's considered to be a foreign substance. <laughs> but I think even when the home plate umpire uses it, it's okay for everybody. See, Java didn't want to get that stuff on his pitching hands. Yeah. So. That's probably why Lance Diaz was out there to make sure. And so they'll spread the bug spray all around the infield. The umpires. What a pitch! Here comes Sizemore. Friendly bounce. Not in time. We're tied. He couldn't save that one. All right. And Martinez hit by a pitch. Brilliant in the seventh. Pestered in the eighth. I think pestered's a good word. Those bugs have really caused him a little bit of a little bit of a problem here. Nearly hit another man. Two balls and a strike. The only thing that can stop the Marlins right now is a cat in center field. <laughs> now Stanton is going to knock on the door. Yeah. No, no, don't pick that up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh oh. Don't do it. Desperately looking for a way out of here. Oh, oh wow. What? 
I don't know. Where is that cat going to go from there, though? Yeah, look at this cat. Terrific stuff by the cat. And the 1-0. is a line drive base hit center field. Coming around third, DeRosa's going to win the ball game. It got by Crisp. Maybe the birds distracted him. And the Indians win it and take the series two out of three. It's a walk-off win for the Tribe in the bottom of the 10th. On a base hit to center field by Shinsu Chu. His first hit in the series, and it's a game winner.